welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be working on the front bumper again. You know, last time you guys saw this, it was getting primer, and then we put it on the car, and we really didn't do much to it. But um, right now, the time is getting closer to paint it. We're gonna be doing the final preps, as in, what else are we gonna do to it? All right. So under here, I don't know if you guys can see, but you guys can see me moving it. Is ABS plastic. So I went out. We bought a big sheet of ABS plastic. Why? Because we're gonna be doing our own 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 arrow kit all right so we already started with the um front splitter we already have made the lines we cut it out yesterday if you guys want to catch that process that video will be dropping at our target designs channel so you guys can watch it over there but um the rest will be dropping on my channel so what we have to do left to it all right well we got to make sure the edges are smooth that it matches the lining of the bumper like we want to we gotta measure it, make sure it's gonna fit under the car all the way we want it to fit. And if we need to cut, and well, we need to stop on the other side of the bumper. And then we also gonna be um, folding the sides, you know, making the nice arrow look and everything like that. And I don't know if we're gonna get to it today, but I want to make canards for the bumper to go right here to give that super aggressive front end. So we'll see how that works out. You may come today, you may not, but I do plan on doing them ourselves too. And also, I don't know if we're going to get to do it today because it's snowing outside in El Paso. It's sunny and it's snowing. What sense does that freaking make? Anyway, so we're going to be doing side skirts as well. And depending on how the bumper goes, I have to race the car. I don't think I'll be making a diffuser at the moment for the rear of the car. All right. But with that being said, Andrew's about to get here soon, and when he does, we're gonna go measure it under the car. We're gonna see if we need to make an arts, and we're gonna start folding the sides, all right? With that being said, I hope you guys learned something, and um, let me know in the comments, and if you guys have any difficulties making your own air kit, um, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. You just have to make sure you get the measurements right. And, you know, measure, measure, triple measure before you cut, and then when you cut, make sure it's pristine. It's what you want, you know? Those straight lines, nothing curvy. So that way you're not messing it up and you don't have to go back and redo it, all right? All right, that being said, let's move on to measuring it. Here we go. Crash board, you want to call it? Back to where the radio support is. And we got, it's supposed to be nine, but I went 10 inches just to give us some extra room. So we're gonna cut this excess out. Now we have some trimming to do on that side. just this side. Some trimming and then we can go ahead and um, flip it over, clamp it to the MDF, hit it with a heat gun, bend it, and then um, go ahead and get it put on the bumper. But the, uh, to get it on the car, there's two places we gotta cut out. So let me go back, we have to Put it on the car, mark those areas so we can cut the slots out so it's sliding perfectly. And uh, Lewis, thank you very much. Staying one step ahead, but I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch up. All right, so um, razor is on over there. Oh, you good and good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got the worst. Um when it comes to straight lines. So, um, three strong passes with a utility knife, or four to five intermediate, and you pretty much just 
bend it out. There it is. And test it. Yeah. You wanna bolt it onto it? No. Nah. Just like four little screws. Um, because if you bolt it onto it, we won't get the bump all the way because that piece on the end oh, yeah. is gonna stop it. So right. we gotta go out there, gauge it, see where we're at, and then come back in. We'll see you guys when we're back in here because it's dark and cold outside. Told y'all, when I was in Florida. Damn! What? What'd you forget? Nothing. Fifteen or seventeen. So this right here is like the support for the transmission that runs under the engine. This piece cut out here, right here is a frame. I'm gonna measure, come up about six inches. Hopefully that's enough on everything. Come in six inches, cut that out, and then we're gonna screw to the bumper and hopefully that little It'll fit right in. So I'm gonna use a square and use the edge of the MDF to get a straight line. And like I said, I made these wider. The, that metal that comes down in the frame is probably about half an inch thick, but I'm cutting it like two and a half inches to give enough room. It's, it's cold outside. Compensate for any errors. Yeah, I'm not trying to go out there and measure, come back, go out measure, come back. It's winter grind for the car shows, guys. Yep. Trying to get what we can't done. What we can't get done, we'll wait till the summer. Yep. cut out you saw me struggling uh, right now we're about to um, put some self tappers put it onto the bumper do you want to heat your sides first or do you want to just go ahead and self tap it do you want to heat the sides first or no. just self tap it self tap see where we at so we're going to self tap it see where we at i don't know if we're going to go outside and oh uh, yeah okay well i will have to take my license plate off before we go so he's not out there in the cold waiting till I take it off. We're gonna try it on. That'd be you know. a great idea if you do that. Wonderful. We'll see what it looks like. I mean, I don't think we're gonna open the garage and shine the light on it, but nope. you, you guys will see it tomorrow, all right? Um, I'll make another video if it's still on the bumper. I don't know if I'm gonna drive with it or not. We'll see at the end of the night, all right? Be right back. Let me go take the license plate off. We're gonna go test it. Be right back. All right, guys. So we went ahead. We put the bumper on the car. It fit very nicely. There's only one little part we gotta cut. And so, with that being done, you guys didn't get to see that because it's dark and cold outside. But well, we went on ahead and started working on the side skirts since we still have time. And uh, we just went with the big ice oscillates in the back. So not front and back on the same side skirts, just the back. And it should complement the whole air kit and the rear bumper very, very well. So right now you guys are going to see us heat it up. 
push it down and then I'll show you guys what it looks like it's pretty much a straight line with a triangle simple so we'll get these done and then another day when we go install those for good for good you guys will be seeing that but for the end of this video this is what's gonna be it all right let's do it Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys get to just watch me work because I'm turning the music back on. It ain't nothing to cut up. Mm. Ah! It's on fire. <laughs> Everything is plugged into that, and it can't handle that much. So I gotta go upside. Trigger the breaker, guys. And we're back. Lights are on. Back to heating up. What's up guys? Alright, so we got in the TC interior. As you guys can see, the older original paint is peeling off due to stickers and it's just been like two year two, three years with this painted blue. So I think it's time we repaint it. It's starting to fade away and it's really dirty. So right now I'm just in the process of taking the vents out. And then we're gonna get to working on side skirt. And then we're gonna get to working on the front splitter because we have a show on the 13th. And you guys are gonna have surprise what's gonna happen that day. So we gotta get stuff rolling and stuff done, all right? So continue on from yesterday. Uh, if this is a long video, I'm sorry, more stuff for y'all to watch, but hey, yeah, this is how you can do your own stuff. So watch it all the way through and you guys can do the same things yourself at home and take some inspiration, I guess. No. Right now, I'm going to get you um, trying to take these vents out without breaking it, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I tried, but I messed it up. As you guys can see, it's kind of curvy. So I'm going to wait for Andrew to get here. He wants to go help out with some stuff um, at the garage. But I'm going to wait for him to get here so we can straighten this out. It's kind of hard for me to um, heat it up and try to bend it. At the same time, it's my first time doing it, but you can see his is a clean line. Mine is all crappy. curvy and crappy, so yeah. I'm going to wait for him to fix that. In the meantime, I'm going to repaint the interior pieces as well. I've been sending them down. First, got to wait to see if, he, if we should paint in here, if he wants me to wait. I mean, it's his garage. But yeah, that's what we're working on. And um, if you guys don't know... Take those two pieces out fairly easy, it's not that hard. And yeah, and I'm not sure what I should do with this. If I should keep it black or if I should keep it blue. I'm gonna figure that out by the end of the night. But um right now I'm waiting for pizza to arrive. And hey, you hungry? You very hungry? You super hungry? This camera shy guys. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wait for some pizza to arrive. You know, something to eat while we wait, guys. Um, we're hungry. It's already dark outside, it's already late. I cut that extra two inches we needed on the um, splitter. It's sitting on the bumper right now, which is sitting on my car. I'm not gonna drive with it because it's just gonna fly off. Uh, we don't have it secured in place just yet. Um, we're looking to get the bumpers painted this Wednesday. This upcoming Wednesday, so like next week, 
So you guys be watching out for that video coming out. And um, yeah, pretty much we're trying to get as much as we can done before the show. So hey, stay tuned. Whatever happens, you guys will see. I'm sorry if you guys didn't see me mess up, but um, I want you guys to see the perfection of things get done. And um, y'all saw Andrew do the other one yesterday, so pay attention to his. All right. That being said, let us wait for this food, and then I'm gonna bring you guys back as soon as it gets here. We got our pizza. It's nice and hot. Look at that. Little Caesars. Mmm. 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 Alright. Bring you guys back after we fill up. Alright, guys. Andrew's here for the rescue. He went away ahead. And he's pressing it together, we heated it up. Oh, uh, get rid of that nasty curve that I did. My bad. Yeah, so that's what we're doing to fix it. We heated it up, he bent it some more. And yeah, making it perfect. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. We got this fixed. The bumper is back inside down here by me. We got as much as we could done today. Tomorrow I'm gonna record some more for you guys. So hey, stay tuned. I'm gonna be dropping some videos when I can. Trying to record everything for you guys and also trying to get it done um, before the show, all right? Um, like I said, bumper is gonna get painted next week. We're gonna work on some canards for this. And then we should be back on working on the rear bumper and getting a Lord Future, you know, molded onto the sides, whatever else. All right, so whatever life throws at us, I'll put it out for you guys so y'all can stay tuned. And hey, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Appreciate you guys showing love, commenting, um, liking the video. And if you can, sharing the video. It really means a lot to me. And um, hey, I'm just here trying to show you guys my love and what I like to do. And hopefully inspire you guys, even if you have the same car or not. It's all, you know, the car seat is what it's for all right with that being said guys thank you so much don't forget to subscribe hit the like button go check out the rest of the channel and hey i'll see you guys next time. No!